as a tube talk. Welcome back to you, Douglas. This mid-August tube talk. Spring is only a couple of weeks away. Last game of the season, football on Saturday. Well, hopefully it's still on, but yeah. How's your season gone? It's gone pretty well, I'd say. We haven't lost a game yet, and we hope to continue that into the final. So if you win or draw, you win the grade. If you lose, you're probably going to lose the grade because the team sitting in second place, three points behind, has got a better points differential, haven't they? And it comes down to the goal difference in the end. Yeah, and you guys have got, so they've got a better goal difference. Right. A bit right. more targeted. And um, what about Ian Foster being retained? What a stupid decision. Everyone's got their own opinions. It's it's a true. It was a decision. It wasn't a break decision, but a decision. Well, if you look at the stats, he's got the lowest win percentage out of any All Blacks coach ever, yeah. and he's been coaching for five years now. So yeah, the other the other thought is, you know, maybe it's just the rocket that's needed for Canvas for change. We shall see. Well, the the public won't want it, but well, the people won't want it to happen. But it doesn't really matter what we think. It's about what the All Blacks think, you know. Well, well, now the decision's been made. It's just about. They've got this new guy in though with the coaching as well, don't they? Joe Schmidt. Yeah. yeah. He's good. He's good. All right, let's talk um, ponies. Ponies. Well, Race horses, mate. We'll talk about week. them now. Yeah, it's yeah. a small week. Is it not a, not a big week for Gary? Not a huge week, no. Huh? Not a huge week, no. No. But every week's an important week. Every week's a huge week for Gary Racing. Nice. Last week, Rock Island Lime was a pretty good, very good second. It was a really good second. He did proof from his first up run. Uh, chimed in really well for a nice second. Amazing. He's nobody to growl at. She didn't like Rock Island Lime. <coughs> she doesn't like it being with him. And then, so um, he is just hitting form. Hopefully, the for him, the bad weather remains around. Was, uh, he could be a big chance at warming on the third. Mm. And we also had Al Abin. No. Al Abia. Sorry. Al Abin. Oh, I can't see. Al Abin, the female Abin. Al Abin had a good run. Al Abia, yeah, his very first Al-Abin. start in Australia was pretty exciting. Amazing. But Maisie had a bet on Alabia and um, she lost her money, but it was an excellent run. He's had a couple of starts over 2,000 metres in, a, uh, in the UK for coming out. Uh, as a two year old, he got back, he would kind of last on the turn 100 metres ago, and he roared home for fifth. Brick Preble gave him a glowing report. He is a horse to watch for the future. Now, moving on to this week, short week last week, short week this week. On Friday at Omaru, race six, we got Darcy's flight. Uh, yeah, a little freshen, really important for her. She's running out of chances, but she strikes a field that's not overly strong. She races well fresh. She's had a couple of seconds in the last four starts. So she gets the opportunity to put her best foot forward. Might be a heavy 10, which is a little bit too wet for her. She would like it a bit better, but in saying all those things, you know, she should be running well and be, she should be one of the major chances. And then race, oh no, on Saturday at Royal Kaka, race five, we've got Pull Your Socks Up. Yeah, so she, she's, just, this, she's got one to two starts left, that's it, and then she's going to be sold as a broodmare. Um, this race is restricted to fillies and mares only, and she gets four kilos off, so, so that brings her weight down. So running against her own gender, um, barrier one, uh, she's dropping in grade. She actually ran really well in open class race last time. She just covered too much ground and peaked on her run. With a, with a slightly more economic run, just behind the speed, uh, and the track should fall into the range she likes, that sort of slow 6-7, I think. She's got to be a really nice expansion. Then race 6, She's Apples. Um, so She's Apples, a little bit like Darcy's flight. She's had two places in the last four starts, but we really need to see her start, you know, going forward and, and and stepping up and winning races. So she's probably got one or two chances left. So it's an important race for her on Saturday. Awkward draw of nine, but she gets four kilos off, so it doesn't carry much weight at all on her back. She she tends to be a go forward horse anyway, and at Ruakaka that helps. So I think we can see her going forward and sitting reasonably handy. 
Um, been a little, little bit of time between runs, um, but the 1300 metres should be fine for her, and I'd like to see her go a nice race. And then at Doombin Race 4, we have Otera. OG Rusty got to 2200 metres, lovely barrier draw for him. Uh, coming off a win last Wednesday, so he's had two starts in Queensland for a second or first, so he's in excellent form. The 2200 metres offers no problems for him, he'll run that out easily. Um, probably the only question mark on him is he's had he's the trip up to Queensland, he's, this will be his third start in 17 days. So he seems bright and well. It's, it'll just be, that's the only question mark is whether or not he will be a little bit jaded because of that. But he seems well, wouldn't run him otherwise. Looks a nice race for him. Definite top three chance. Mm-hmm. And then at Randwick race six, we have Lord Ardmore. And who do you think is going over to watch Lord Ardmore on the aeroplane? Matthew. The Waimati Wonder. Waimati Wonder. Renewed his passport. He's getting on a plane, he's going to Sydney. Uh, with some of the owners to watch Lord Ardmore. Won his last two Group 3 Premier's Cup with a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Barrier 5, Hugh Bowman in the saddle, 2,000 metres oh, is no problem at all for him. Uh, he's on the way up, probably struck about a soft 5 or 6 track. Uh, looks a good race for him. Competitive race, two or three good chances. He's the only favourite deserves to be, and there's a big chance of winning. And then, we move on to Bid the Week. Just like that. And this Bid the Week is also at Randwick. On Saturday, race nine, Revolutionary Miss. Yes, yeah, so, um, it's the first sort of three-year-old race in Sydney for the season, the first sort of major, major one. Um, and it can be a bit of a changing of the guard, the two-year-olds come to three-year-olds, but... Revolutionary Miss, I think, is over the odds. She was very good as a two-year-old. Had a couple of seconds in Sydney, one in the Wyndham. Went down in Melbourne. Sec- uh, won the Blue Diamond Prelude. Then second in the Blue Diamond by Bees Whisker. So she, she uh, And then she had to come back up to Sydney. Got the outside barrier draw on the Golden Slipper. Uh, well, one of the outside barrier draws. And probably all that travel and things was just a bit too much for her. She had a good spell... High quality, good horse. I think at nine and three dollars, I think she's over the odds. Karen McAvoy on board. Uh, she's my bit of the week. Good bit of the week. Good bit of the week. She's my bit of the week. Um, and hopefully, can turn it around from the last couple of weeks. We've just been mm. middling, struggling a little bit. Well, you've been struggling a little bit. I haven't, man. So if we go no good this week, it'll either be you doing the bit of the week next week, or you might get a special uh, guest star. Yeah. Come on. Quite possibly we will. Alright, Douglas, thank you for that. And we'll see everyone next week. Bye. Double barrel now, Odi Ra gets into the clear, starts to work into the picture, looking pretty dangerous. St. Martin was shuffled back, then Port Marot, Saxon Rose, and found the markers last. On straightening, they fan. There's a run for Magic Mikey. Loves the look, leads from Magic Mikey and Alyssa. Still there was Master Marco. Odi Ra's coming down the outside pretty solidly. Magic Mikey after, loves the look, then Master Marco, and Odi Ra on the outside, winding up. Port Marot is flashing. On the outside, Odi Ra reached the lead. Port Marot coming strongly, they hit it, Fano, Odi Ra, maybe!